I'm here with Wild Bill Bukowski and Jonathan Hillstrand from Deadliest Catch, and we're going to talk crab. One of the things that's interesting about the season premiere is that we don't start out with fishing. We start out with the uh, congressional hearings because of the government. Government shutdown. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the state used to run the fisheries just fine, and I'm not going to badmouth the government, but... Uh, now we need paperwork, and and mm -hmm. it was basically we couldn't go fishing because a piece of paper, and our problem is we have 22 days to catch this crab, or the Japanese holiday passes up, and they need all that crab before their holiday. That's what makes it worth so it's much a marketing money. Window. Uh, we need to so, get it to market on time for the value. So we lost 15 million dollars just because of this wow. um, fleet wide, just because of the government not you know, pl playing games and... Yeah, one of the things I didn't understand I is... I gotta watch what I say oh, about the government, but... There's gonna be a black sedan <clears throat> outside waiting. It's all, <laughs> well, it's all about dem who wants to get reelected. This They're not really trying to fix the national debt and all the stuff I worry about mm -hmm. is not being helped. I'm just scared for our country. But, I, but, but the, basically, they shut us down yeah. and started cutting into our lives, and it could have been up to $40 million loss if if they would have drugged their feet any longer. It could have it's very critical. shut down some of the boats completely. Like, yeah, it, it could have bankrupted guys. I mean, it's yeah. we all have bills, we all have payments, we all have stuff to do. And the fact that it took essentially what, John, 20% of our income um, with the loss that we had on the crab. Mm -hmm. And, and, and thank, you'll never get that back. I mean, thank never, God we had Keith Coburn go to the White House. Keith which Coburn. was an awesome scene. He did a yeah. really good job. Yeah. Keith yeah. speaks well. He yeah. let them know what's going on out here. And, and we the fleet as a whole, we're we're losing about sixty thousand dollars a day, not mm -hmm. counting the price that we got. Re the price went down on us because of the uncertainty of the crab making it to the market. The Japanese started going elsewhere to get crab because mm, they don't okay. want to miss their holiday. But this this season, I want to tell you, yeah, is the bloodiest. I mean, we watched some footage and and we laugh when we had the the hardest hits. They have a one hour special on the uh, hardest hits and injuries and. And uh, we were laughing at first because it's us getting hit and uh, the clanking of the the steel against the face. And then uh, Keith hits the bottom of his boat and makes a thud oh like a God. watermelon. Yeah, I had a guy and then, that took a pot. Yeah, I mean it, and then it showed you with the guy that hits gets hit in the face of the pot. And I, I just, there was no funny thing about it. And wow. I've never seen so much blood. And People the, wonder how you get 10 seasons out of it. Every and, season has bad weather. Every season has injuries. And yeah. And a couple Frankly, people turn, and, do, a couple boats it. sank, and you know, you've seen guys sink yeah. and die, and, and on the show, and uh, um, this is no exception. Well, but even in the first episode, we we see the big fire, and we see yeah, there's you know, boats, that's, couple boats go down, and yeah. then a, a guy loses his life trying to save somebody. Um, mm. That's gonna, be, but it's it's like watching NASCAR. You you want to see the car wreck. Oh. I don't think we watch NASCAR if there's an, if they never wrecked. Do you, how do you feel about that, though? So, I mean, there's a camera crew recording everything and uh, probably a lot of moments you'd rather not remember. I mean, people, I'm sure, come up to you and, and have things to say that maybe you... Really? You ever getting bad press? Nobody ever gives me any bad <laughs> press. No. I'm loved by everyone. Yeah. I, I, we actually have a lot of really good fans. and They know, like, it's not your fault. And... Discovery's really pushing... I mean, to make 10 years on any show... Pretty remarkable. You're in the business... Ten yeah. years of any show is big. Yeah. And we're as strong or stronger than we've ever been in yeah. season ten. Once you think you've seen it all, and that's what yeah, we say every year. Yeah, tune in next week. Yeah, tune in next week. You haven't seen it all. Well, how long do you, I know that you re retired for a little while, and then you got pulled, you got sucked back in, very Godfather too. but I mean, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> they pulled me, <laughs> they back, pulled in. me back in. So. It's all you. How long do you guys see yourself being captains? I mean, like, I just remember the other thing that stuck out this season is Junior is suffering mightily with back pain mightily and he, so yeah he goes through hell and uh he still hurts with the operation and everything and probably yeah. hurts more yeah wow. i told him not to get it because i know that 90 something percent of those people that get it they still hurt because yeah. it affects the the vertebrae above and below the operation where they they uh yeah they splice it all together and i must be starting to look really it. old because that's a question that everybody <laughs> asks me everything i do now is hey captain bill you're getting old, man. When are you going to give this up? No, so. it's because you quit for a little while, and you took off, yeah. and you lived in warm weather. Yeah, that is the only reason. The thing is, is if you're happy. If you're not happy out there anymore, you shouldn't be out there. So what, I mean, this is going to be the bloodiest season 
But what else? It does seem like there's the element. A lot of, of crab get caught. It's fierce and yeah. fast. Like uh, I put in 1.7 million dollars worth of crab in 12 days. Jeez. So the crew share is 40, 54 grand. I mean, that. How can a kid come up? There's not a lot of jobs where a kid can make that kind of money. No. And so that's another draw to the show. And it's real. It's not uh, no scripted right. deal. They might change events a little bit or not show you the whole day. They just show you parts of the day. And, uh, you made a point earlier. This show can change your life for a total positive way. Mm -hmm. Or if you're one of these kids who come up and brags that, hey, I'm going to be the best yeah. I can ever. And we had, They're not going to play all that. These, and, they, and when the guy fails... That every the public, in, you know, has this image of you failing, and that, yeah. you got to live with that the rest of your life. So and the humble, people. the humble pie guy, you know, like we, we just like we hill strands, we just fumble our way through, but we make it work like everybody mm -hmm. else. We're not the smartest guys, we're not the, but we do well. And we, we have. I mean, you've been doing this for thirty four years. You've been doing it obviously a really long time. So have things changed? Is it harder to find the crab? I mean, I feel like. There's such an artistry to like figuring out where those crab are and and pulling them out the the deep hole. Like, they're they're always in the different spot. You got to check. You got to make sure you cover your first step. You're set. You got to cover it gets depth. Tough. Discovery has stunt crabs. They bring in stunt crabs for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I'm not kidding. I knew anything. it. I knew bring it. Bring in the stunt yeah. crab. You know? yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like some people pull up the pots and there's nothing in them. You know, it's and just you could be a quarter mile from somebody. And they're pulling blanks, and you're pulling full pots, and they're looking right at you, going, "Seriously?" Yeah, it's it's a pretty tough fishery, yeah. really. Uh, for being in the wilderness, it's not easy. And deciding where to put your gear and where to move it, you have to follow the crab. There's a lot more to it than people when you make your first set and you don't find nothing, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And your stomach goes into this crazy knot. And every time we pull our first pot, you're like a little kid at Christmas. Could it be? Oh, what's under there? A lump of coal or? Little red bicycle under the tree, whatever you know. It's you don't know what you're gonna get. It's exciting. It's kind of like blackjack. It's like, it's like every hand of blackjack yeah, is different. Yeah, and, the, and this time you're working at a deficit because you guys couldn't even work for a couple of days. Nobody could work. Right. Well. And it's you know everyone had to rush out. It's and holding the whole fleet time. up, and uh, it's not funny how much money it's costing us as American taxpayer citizens. And the problem with that is we pay a tax, an enforcement tax, to the government. So the government already has their tax money. Oh, yeah. So there's no reason they can't issue our permits, but it's all about Democrats and Republicans, I think, was the main thing, is we're going to prove they were just playing with each other, which was costing us a lot of money. And it's not just us. I mean, all the businesses around Dutch, we bring in less money, so guys buy less gear. You know, you're, you're using the store less, you're cutting back on groceries, yeah. so it just, it's a cascading effect. It was basically about $15 million that didn't get run through town this time, wow. and that no one's ever going to get back. Wow. So I should end like on a happy note. <laughs> the happy note is uh, we're here. You know that we make it back. You're alive. here. Hey, we don't have to worry about so, you guys. Yeah. You know, I didn't kill anybody. No, that's you, you good. Everybody's you alive. You didn't punch nobody. Nobody nobody. Got punched. Well, did you yell? I swear. I, punching. My, my problem is I yelled more than I've ever yelled before. And I was yelling at a guy to try to protect him. And he wouldn't listen to me. I said, do not stand over there. And they need to stand over there. Yeah. And I have to say, I told you not to stand over there. Uh, and then pretty soon I go, just get off deck, go inside. You're you're not going to be on deck anymore. And he goes in and he slams his finger in the engine room door <laughs> and cuts his finger off. So I have wow. to take him to town. So we lose a finger now. You know, one of the coolest things, this show is all over the world. And I do mm -hmm. travel a lot. I sport yeah. fish. I just came from Costa Rica. I'm going to the Dominican Republic. You're on the street, and people in all these countries, they know you, they know the mm -hmm. show, they know Discovery. So that's crazy. I, I have a house in Mexico, and little kids will look up, and it's either me oh, or Bad man. Santa. Yeah, we're, there's only two people that look <laughs> like this. Did you say Bad Santa? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're in 270 <laughs> countries. We speak how many languages? It's crazy. 60 <laughs> languages? Or? Do you ever just watch one of the episodes where it's, you know, you speaking, you While know, Bill speaking yeah. Thai yeah. is hilarious. I watched, I watched <laughs> the Spanish marathon. I was dying. And then they have a laugh. It's not our laugh. It's like, <laughs> 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 oh my God, I was crying. But uh, if, for the fans, this show is going to be crazy. And for the new people that haven't seen it, it might be shocking to them. But this is what we do for a living. Yeah. It's been on for 10 years. And uh, it's here. number one show on Discovery, I believe. And, and uh, you got to watch it. 
and April 22nd and in, uh, at 9 p.m. But watch it, watch the hour early because there's the bait where we talk about the show, upcoming show, and what's going on. And That's it's where a we lot get to of fun. make fun of each other. And we put each other in the series. hot seat, and it's, it's better than watching The View. Okay. So it's funny as hell. My stomach hurts afterwards, and uh, we just let each other have it. We're not politically correct, correct either, so watch out for that. <clears throat> anyway, and So thank it's you. been great having both of you. This has been Wild Bill Rakowski and Jonathan Hillstrand from Deadly's Catch, and the show returns on... April 22nd, Tuesday at 9 o'clock, 8 central, and watch the bait first, 8 o'clock. Yeah, baby. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.